there are a lot of really strong techniques in GGK, with the likes of Limitless, the Ten Shadows, and Copy standing atop the verse in terms of power and utility. However, none of these techniques even come close to the perfection of the recent fan favorite Fumihiko Takaba's technique, The Comedian. First introduced in Chapter 146, Takaba is a 35-year-old failed comedian sucked into the world of sorcery after Kenjaku initiated the culling games and awakened a curse technique in him. Readers don't get to see his technique explained, however, until chapter 173, where it's revealed just how powerful this technique is. Comedian allows Takaba to manifest situations that he thinks would be funny into reality, and the narrator states that this would even work on Gojo. We get extra insight into Comedian and Takaba's recent fight with Kenjaku, as he talks about how Comedian is literally the enforcement of Takaba's imagination. It's not only able to negate Kenjaku's cursed spirit manipulation, but forces his cooperation in the simulations, alters his thoughts, and deals real damage to him despite Takaba being completely unfazed by anything going on. Kenjaku ultimately determines that Comedian's sole weakness is that it relies on Takaba's self-confidence and assurance that something will actually be funny. This weakness, as I'll explain later, is actually a major part in what I think makes this technique so perfect. But first, for the obvious part of what makes Comedian perfect. It's just insanely strong. If it weren't for the fact that Takaba is an awakened player of the modern age who not only doesn't know about his technique, but also isn't like mentally insane or a violence fanatic, this technique would have ended the series by now. As many fans have pointed out and made jokes about, if Takaba were to find something like the death of Sukuna, the revival of Gojo, or even something like the happening of the merger funny, it would just happen. Comedian is literally reality manipulation on a whim. We even see that the simulations Takaba creates seem to be able to like spawn in NPCs or artificially replicate human life with the random people that show up to see his and Kenjaku's final performance. Couple that with Comedian's technique negating properties, forcing other people's techniques to have no effect, and rendering Takaba seemingly impervious to all damage, and we have a technique that even when utilized far from its full potential, had a 1,000 year old special grade mastermind thinking that he was about to lose. If we were to ever see Comedian utilized to its full potential, maybe under the hands of Kenjaku or if Takaba learned both self-confidence and to appreciate and use dark humor, the JJK verse would unironically have a new honored one. But Comedian's perfection goes beyond just how powerful the technique is. Where Comedian truly derives its perfection is from JJK's mindset. I've mentioned this before, but what it really comes down to is what defines the strongest characters of JJK. Confidence and sense of self. You do not get strong in the world of sorcery through the power of teamwork. You do not get strong in the world of sorcery through friendship or altruism or the pursuit of heroic ideals. You get strong in JJK through your confidence in yourself and an unyielding hunger to achieve what you and you alone want. Gojo, Sukna, Kenjaku, and a plethora of other strong characters are characterized by this. Gojo, at the advent of his enlightenment, at the point in which he truly became the strongest, wasn't sad about Riko's death, nor was he mad at Toji for causing it. He simply was acting based on his own desires to live in a world that he could see the beauty of and proclaim himself as the honored one. Sukna's whole thing is literally to live according to what he wants. He says this to multiple characters, and his actions prove that he simply lives for himself. And Kenjaku has literally been working on a 1000 year old plan simply because he thinks it would be cool to see what happens. But having an overwhelming sense of self is only half of what makes the strong strong. The other half is confidence. Megami was weak because he lacked the confidence in himself to gamble, to take a risk and bet everything on the idea that he could pull off a domain and beat the finger bearer. Once he gained that confidence, he won. Yuki, on the other hand, lacked the confidence in herself to use her domain against Kenjaku, and instead she bet everything not on herself, but on Tengen's ability to dismantle Kenjaku's domain. And she lost. Gojo and Sukuna are so strong because they literally never doubt themselves. 
Gojo flat out states that he'd win against Sukuna, and has enough confidence in himself to pull off an improv undirected purple for the first time, assuming that it would win him the fight. Sukuna, despite being at one finger, is still willing to scrap with someone he recognizes as strong. And when he's at 15 fingers, he's still willing to instantly pull up on Gojo, despite having a better idea of what he could do. Confidence and sense of self form the gateway to higher strength in JJK. You need an overwhelming sense of self to devote yourself solely to your goals without regard for the world around you. And you need absolute confidence in yourself to be able to bet everything on your own ability and to ultimately take the risks that make you strong. And it just so happens that comedian's requirements for activation are literally those two things. Kenjaku determines after messing with Takuma for a bit that Comedian's activation requirements rest on the user's confidence and conviction in themselves. In other words, Comedian's conditions for use form one half of what makes the strongest of JJK the strongest. Furthermore, Comedian's whole effect is the imposition of the user's imagination, a reality warp that forces those in range to cooperate with the user essentially brings out their truest desires. This is quite possibly one of the most self-conceited things you could do. To forcefully impose your imagination on others, and to force those caught in your technique to take part in whatever you want, only screams that you have a strong sense of self. The forcing of one's imagination on those around them sounds an awful lot like a domain expansion, the pinnacle of sorcery. Domains force those caught within its barrier to be a part of the caster's own pocket dimension, a world where they hold ultimate power and is the manifestation of their will. Characters with strong domains are that way because in a domain clash, a clash of wills, their sense of self supersedes their opponents. So for Comedian's whole effect to essentially be a domain expansion, the manifestation and enforcement of the user's will, really illustrates how Comedian as a technique is just the culmination of what JJK preaches. Comedian has everything it needs to be perfect. The obvious is there. The technique is ridiculously strong, able to make someone as competent as Kenjaku sweat, able to be effective even on the likes of Gojo, and able to operate possessing next to no weaknesses while granting the user control over reality. But on a more fundamental level, Comedian aligns itself completely with the teachings of JJK. It requires its user to have the mindset of the strong for the technique to even be usable. And once that mindset is achieved, it grants the user the pinnacle of sorcery, the ultimate manifestation of a strong sense of self as its base effect. Taking into account all these factors, it's clear that Fumihiko Takaba's Comedian truly is the perfect technique.